1.2.6, group seven, the halogens. So you need to know all elements in group seven have seven electrons in their outer shell. They need to gain one electron to form a stable electron arrangement. Now halogens are non-metals and exist as molecules as a pair of atoms. Now they form ionic bonds when they react with, non, with metal atoms. So for instance, sodium and chlorine react together to make sodium chloride, which is an ionic compound. Halogens will react with non-metals to form molecules, covalent molecules, where they share electrons. So when you look at covalent bonding, you'll know that a covalent bond is a shared pair of electrons. So for instance, hydrogen and chlorine will share an electron at each to make hydrogen chloride, HCl, which is a gas at room temperature. Just like with the noble gases, the boiling point increases as you go down the group. It increases because the relative atomic mass of the molecule increases. And you'll know when you look at unit seven with hydrocarbons and fractional distillation, as the molecule gets bigger, the boiling point increases because there's bigger intermolecular forces that require separating. Consider group one elements. Group one elements get more reactive as you go down the group. Well, group seven elements get less reactive down the group. The reactivity decreases as you go down the group. The acronym's the same, D-I-E-S. The reason they get less reactive is the distance from the positive nucleus to the outer shell gets further as you go down the group. And there's more inner electron shielding. That means it's harder to gain an electron to form a negative ion. That is why the reactivity decreases. When you consider then the relative reactivity of the halogens, you can compete them against each other. The competition is called a displacement reaction. So when we consider the reactivity of the halogens, chlorine in this example is more reactive than bromine. So chlorine atoms will displace, will kick out the bromide ions forming bromine the chlorine atoms will become chloride ions. So we'll go from sodium bromide and chlorine, where chlorine is a pale green color in solution, to sodium chloride and bromine, which is an orangey brown color in solution. So when we did this reaction, we know it had taken place because there'd be a color change from pale green to orangey brown. In order to balance this equation, we've got to notice that on the left-hand side, there's two chlorine atoms, Cl2. And on the right-hand side, there's two bromine atoms, Br2. So what you need to do is put a two in front of the NaBr and a two in front of the NaCl. So the balancing is two NaCl plus Br2 produces two NaCl plus Br2. Make sure you know about the reactivity of group seven before you move on. Make sure you know about the changes in boiling points as you go down group seven. And make sure you understand about the re relative reactivity and displacement reactions before you move on.